In this video, I want to share with you some profitable coloring book niches. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and I make videos to help you master your mindset and to make money online so that you can build a life you love. I would say that coloring book niches are probably some of the most popular for low content book publishers on Amazon. And I also think it's probably the niche that most people want to get into the most because there is real potential there to make a lot of money with coloring books. And while there is a lot of demand for coloring books, there is also a lot of competition and it can be a really time consuming task to compete with some of those really established brands, brands like Jade Summer, who just have hundreds of really profitable coloring books. I also think that when people start off in creating coloring books, they generally start in too broad a niche, maybe because those niches are really, really popular and usually really easy to make those types of coloring books. And I'm talking about niches like flower coloring books, animal coloring books, mandala coloring books. They're just some of the niches in coloring books that are just so big, but also so competitive. So what do we do? Well, we need to drill down into some of these sub niches under the coloring book niche that still have some demand, but are a lot less competitive than some of those broader niches. So this week I have been doing a lot of research into the coloring book niche to find you some sub niches that just may be a little easier to compete in. So let's get into the niches. Now, when I first started researching the coloring book niches to put a video together, I thought I might come up with two or three, but in the end, I actually came up with quite a few. I came up with eight sub niches in the coloring book niche that I think could be really good niches to get into. So because I don't want the video to go too long, I've decided I'm gonna break it up into two videos. So I will put four coloring book niches into this video. And then in a few days, I will release a second video with the other four coloring book niches. So if you don't wanna miss out on the second video that I'm going to release shortly, just make sure to subscribe to get notified when I do upload that new video. Now, something else that I think a lot of us struggle with is keywords we just get stuck with keywords which are the best to use how to use them where to use them and things like that so what I have also been doing this week is I have spent a lot of time researching keywords for the coloring book niche and I've decided to compile all them keywords for all coloring book niches sub niches and I've popped them into a document for you if you are interested in downloading all the keywords that I managed to pull together this week for coloring books I will pop a link to that in the description below if you're interested in checking out the keyword research that I have done for coloring books this week. Okay, so the first niche I want to look into today is the geography coloring book or possibly using the keywords of world map coloring books. And so these are coloring books basically to do with maps of the world, geography, places, things like that. Now it can be an adult coloring book, like you can see this one here is a adult geography coloring book, or we can have them targeting children, kids at school, toddlers even. So we can see at the top of the search results here we have under 1000 results for the keywords geography coloring book and let's just have a look through and see if these books are selling so the way that we can tell that is we have a look at the bsr so the bsr is the best seller rank and the best seller rank determines a book's popularity in the amazon marketplace i have this plugin here installed which means i can see the bsr without having to look at every single book on their sale page and this number here the lower it is the better so the lower that number the more books that that book is selling. So we can see the adult book there, the adult geography coloring book has a BSR of 32,978. These ones that are aimed at kids have, that one has an even better BSR, 6,834, 33,350. The World, a map coloring book, 54,272. The United States of America, 50 state maps, 21,998 BSR. So we can see that in this niche, these books are selling. These have all really great BSRs. It's only down here that we start getting into some of those higher BSRs that aren't selling as much, but we can see that these first really good handful of results have really, really great 
best seller ranks. Now I am going to pick one to look at. I'm not going to pick these two because these aren't coloring books. They're more of activity book type of books. But uh, I am going to go down and maybe have a look at this one. Now this one's more of a United States specific coloring book. It has a great BSR, 21,998. Wasn't uploaded too long ago, just over a year ago in June of last year. And so this one has state maps with capitals and symbols that are all related to the USA. So this one's actually aimed at kids aged 5 to 7. It has 104 pages and it's 8.5 by 11. They are selling it in hardcover as well as paperback. I'm not sure if hardcover coloring books are going to take off but if you've got the option of doing hardcover then why not and so what I'm going to do now is just quickly work out what they are making their royalties on this book so we can work out potentially how much this book could be making each month so 104 pages black and white interior and it was selling for $7.99 so this book has a $2.64 royalty so every copy that is sold of that book the publisher or the author or creator of that book gets two dollars and 64 cents and then I'm going to head on over to the TCK publishing Amazon book sales calculator to estimate or guess how many books this book could be selling each month. The BSR on that one again was 21,998. Okay, so potentially this book could be selling 191 copies per month. So 191 copies at $2.64 royalty. That's over $500 per month. $504.24 per month. That is really great. So something else I wanted to bring to your attention if you didn't notice it already. Take a look at this one that's showing up first in the search results. Uploaded or published in 2002. Now, like I say, those two books for the first grades and kindergarten, they're more like activity or work books but this one here the world a map coloring book 2016 the one that we just looked at 2020 that one is for flags and that one was uploaded not that long ago just earlier this year world flags uploaded in 2019 but one thing I just wanted to point out is there are only one or two of these kind of books that are actually quite recent so there's the potential here to make I guess a more modern or a more updated coloring book I mean this geography coloring book here that's still selling really great even though it was uploaded in 2002 or they they're saying it was uploaded in 2002 surely it would look sort of dated somehow. Now I can't see, it doesn't have a look inside feature. I'll see if anyone's uploaded any photos from their reviews. So there's no photos that anyone's uploaded for this book. And so even right here in 2016, someone has left a review saying that it needs to be updated. So there is the potential here to make better books than what is already available in this niche because there's only one or two of them that have been uploaded recently. So I think this is a niche that has some really great potential. Okay, hit the next up. The next niche I came across is stoner coloring book. So this set of keywords, stoner coloring book, it's only coming up with just over 1,000 results. A little bit of a more popular coloring book niche than the one we just looked at, but still very low in terms of coloring books. I do think it's quite hard to find some of of these sub niches that have a low amount of competition or a low amount of search results that come up but stoner coloring book seems to be very popular now don't do that because mickey mouse donald duck goofy winnie the pooh they're all trademark and i know it is frustrating seeing books like this in the amazon marketplace with amazing BSRs as well so selling quite a lot of copies but unless you have the licensing rights but just stay away from copying any trademarked or brands and unfortunately <laughs> the first four books that come up in these search results are all using trademarked characters so that's well this one looks like to me Ariel from the Little Mermaid maybe that's not actually maybe it's not but it does look like Ariel from the Little Mermaid that's Spongebob Squarepants this looks they've even actually I was gonna say this looks like a Disney character they've even used the Disney logo so don't do that but in saying that let's just look at the BSRs are these books selling well yes you can definitely see these books are selling so we have the first four BSRs all close or under to 10,000 bestseller ranks now this is one here this midnight stoner coloring book is more like what you would want to create there are no trademarks by the looks of it they're not using Disney characters and things like that and they have a great BSR 17,436 and so there are a lot of books selling in this niche and it looks like it's a really bright fun niche now if you have something against stoner the stoner niche or marijuana or whatever then 
that's fine. This niche may not be for everybody. Maybe some people are offended by this kind of thing, but there are obviously a lot of people out there who love things to do with marijuana. So what I will do on this one is I'm not going to look at those four at the top because although they've got really good BSRs, they're going to be selling a lot. I just personally don't think that it's a risk-free type of deal to use trademarked characters or Disney characters. So there's a very high chance that these books will just get taken down at some point when Amazon sees what they're doing. And like I say, unfortunately, it's frustrating that these books even get past the review process, but that's just the way it is. So I'm going to have a look at this particular one, Midnight Stoner Coloring Book. Stoner's perfect gift, funny tripping coloring book for adults. We'll take a look inside, see what kind of pictures they have or what kind of colouring pages they have. And so they're actually kind of um, really nice in this particular book. I can only see there what they've got on their back cover. I can't see inside the colouring book of any actual pages. But if you are interested in this niche, just go through the books and see what kind of colouring pages they have in there. So this one's got 30 images. It's 67 pages, selling for $8.99. So that's a really good price for the length of the book. It was only uploaded earlier this year in February and 8.5 by 11. So let's take a look at the royalties on this book. 67 pages selling for $8.99. So this book is making a $3.24 royalty. That's awesome. And the BSR 17,436. So it's estimated that this book is selling 234 copies per month with a $3.24 royalty. This book is possibly making over $700 per month, $758.16. So again, a really great niche in the coloring book niche or sub niche in the coloring book niche. Not too many results. It's not overly competitive. The only thing that you may have to take into consideration with this one, if advertising is a big thing for you, if you don't want to go into a niche where you can't advertise, there is a chance that because this is sort of drug related, it may not be eligible to run ads on. So you might just need to keep that in mind because I can't see any ads displaying on this page. So I feel like this possibly is a niche that you can't advertise your book. Doesn't mean it's not selling. It just means that you'll either, either have to promote this book somewhere else, say on social media or something like that. Or if you've got an email list, promote it to email list. Or you might just have to sit and wait for it to grow organically. Okay, so next up we have Farm Animals Coloring Book. So this niche is probably mostly going to be for children or kids coloring books more so than adults, but that's not to say that adults wouldn't want a farm animal coloring book as well. So Farm Animals Coloring Book, again, just has over a thousand results, so not a huge amount of competition with this one. And just like all the others, let's have a look through and see if these are selling. So we've got Farm Animals Coloring Book here. What a great BSR 5857 aimed at kids four to eight they're selling it extremely low we've got farm animal coloring book for toddler 68,092 BSR that one there's a little bit higher baby animals that's not really farm animals baby farm animals coloring and activity book so it's not just exclusively a coloring book but that BSR just under 100,000 and there is one that's an adult one farm life so not specifically farm animals but they are targeting farm animals in their in their subtitle so that's a really great BSR for an adult coloring book if you prefer to make them for adults again some great bestseller ranks and books are definitely selling in this niche the book in this niche that does have the best bestseller rank it is quite old by the looks of it so there is a chance that you could improve on that possibly go through those reviews and see why it's only three and a half star that's quite low even though it's still selling so many copies I would definitely spend some time going through those reviews and see what it is that's wrong with that book because even with all that's wrong with it people are still buying it oh it's only a small coloring book 4.5 by 5.75 inches so that's an odd size possibly because it is an old book but perhaps that could be the issue so what we'll do is let's take a look at this one farm animals coloring book for toddlers uploaded in 2019 so it's been up there a couple of years so this one has 64 pages 8.5 by 11 selling for 6.99 so this book's making a two dollar and four cent royalty on each book sold bestseller rank 68 
1,092. So selling 69 copies per month. 69 copies at a $2.04 royalty. So this book's making just under $150 a month or approximately. We could estimate that it's making around that per month. So not a massive seller, but sometimes when you're targeting these sub niches, it's more about finding books that maybe don't sell as much or creating books that don't sell as many and having multiple books under a brand or under a particular niche and those sales compound over a range of books. I'm not saying upload hundreds and hundreds of books but you could see if you had 10 coloring books making $150 per month it adds up over time. And as I said earlier, I would definitely go through this book and see how you can do something better because it's just so interesting that books sometimes that aren't great, that don't have five stars or even four stars still sell a lot. And sometimes that just comes with time. Perhaps it's something that's getting promoted somewhere else on an a different website on their social media or something like that but it's definitely worth checking out why that book is selling so many now next up is a niche that is quite small might also be possibly a little harder to create this book but if you create your own coloring book pages or if you have an illustrator or if you hire it or you outsource it this could be a niche for you but I've come across gnome coloring book there are some people out there there's a little sort of cult following for gnomes there are just some people that love gnomes so Gnome Coloring Book has 277 results and the books are quite sweet and they don't have fantastic BSRs but there are some in here that aren't that bad like this one here Secret Garden Gnomes Coloring it's got a BSR of 57,605 and this one next to it Gnomes in the Neighbourhood 45,056 so there are some high BSRs here on some of those books but there are a few in here that are not doing too badly for being a very small niche. There are some targeting Christmas who that might pick up sales in Q4 that's coming up. And there's a couple more down here that under 100,000. That one's just over 100,000. Actually, that one's not gnomes. So let's have a quick look at these ones at the top here that aren't doing too badly. So we've got gnomes in the neighborhood. So uploaded in 2018, so a little while ago. 128 pages. It's a it's more of a squarish type of book as opposed to the more common 8.5 by 11. 128 pages. Let's see what the royalty is on this one. It's selling for $10.75. Now it's got quite a high selling price. I mean the one next to it, it's only selling for $3.99 but in saying that, the one with the higher price has a better bestseller rank so it's selling a bit more. Possibly because it's been on there longer and it's had time to build up. This Secret Garden Gnomes is a lot newer, only uploaded just a few weeks ago actually. So it was doing really well for only being uploaded. I would probably price a bit higher than that though, but let, let's take a look this one, at this one because that's what we're looking at. So this book's making a $4.06 royalty. So that's such a great royalty on a book like this. And sometimes when you are going for those small sub niches, sometimes you have to focus more on creating a higher quality book so that you can charge a bit more, so that you can make a higher royalty to make up for the fact that you may not be making as many sales as if you went into one of those broader niches. If this book is sitting with a bestseller rank of 45 thousand we can estimate it's selling 101 copies per month 101 copies with a four dollar six cents royalty so just a little over four hundred dollars a month we could estimate this book's making four hundred and ten dollars a month so a really great result for like i say a really tiny sub niche under coloring books so if this niche does interest you definitely look through all the books that are coming up in the search results and look at the quality of their coloring pages because you are going to have to make something similar or better if you can to be able to compare because it is something that looks like it's going to have to be quite detailed and on point with gnomes and gnome secret gardens and things like that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have at least found some new sub niches in the coloring book niche that you may be interested in creating some books in. If you did like this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.